all right hey y'all welcome to my channel so today i have a super easy protective style for you guys especially for the fall and the cooler months coming up so if you're interested in this look keep on watching Right, you guys so let's get right into this video so I'm just going to do something with this head of mine it's dry it's starting to revert back I've been wearing it straight for a while and it needs a little bit of moisture so I'm just taking that melanin leave-in cream and applying that all over my head and really doing my best to focus it on my hairline and on my ends so you can braid your hair like mine or do cornrows however you feel you just need to make sure you will be able to install the wig and get it as flat as possible so next i'm going in with two gels this lotta body control me edge gel and then my legume jam so i'm taking the lotta body and putting that all over my edges to just to lay them down a bit slick them back this is not going to hold my hair with humidity you guys my edges don't stay with this kind of gel but I really like it because it adds some shine to my hair and it actually holds, you know, not necessarily my edge edges, but my hair in place. So next, just taking a brush and just brushing my hair all the way back. And then I'm gonna take um, a bobby pin to twist my hair up and then just pin it down. So that's all I did as far as my natural hair underneath. Like I said, feel free to do whatever will get you the flattest install as possible possible even though this is quite it's a lot of hair but you guys get what I'm trying to say so this wig cap is really just holding my hair in place while I do a little razzle dazzle on my edges I'm using the legume jam here and I'm really just applying it to the very ends of my hair then just taking my little brush and doing some exaggerated little swoops um, I feel like with curly hair you can get away with it more as far as like you know having a little bit more fun with the edges Typically, if I do straight hair, I kind of just leave my edges a little bit more on the natural, very easy, not necessarily boring, but you guys get what I'm trying to say, that kind of side. But here, I just wanted to have a lot more fun with it. I was a little nervous that my hair texture wouldn't really fit with this wig texture, but I think it came out okay. What do you what do you guys think in the comments? Just let me know um, how you think the textures match because I have 4B, 4C hair. Um, so I was like, I don't know y'all, but I think it came out pretty good. So I just let that sit for about 10 minutes and this is the outcome. And next, let's get into this beautiful wig, you guys. So here's the headband part of the wig that's kind of like just a few inches right in the front it doesn't go all the way around the wig and then they give you these really small combs which I really appreciate and I really love all the way around the inside of the wig cap it does not come with an adjustable strap so keep that in mind but these clips were pretty secure you guys they I think they did a really good job um, with keeping my wig in place so here I'm just snapping the wig um, onto my hair very easy it took no time so you have three combs in the front and then two combs in the back not having an adjustable strap kind of threw me off because I'm so used to having it and I thought the wig wouldn't fit but it fit perfectly so I'm just going to show you guys the back all you do is just snap them together it's velcro on the end and you just adjust it to your liking and and you are good to go so next just going to undo the clip and let you guys see this hair in all its glory so full so beautiful so soft I love the curl pattern on here the texture it was everything for me it was 180% density but it felt a little bit fuller than that which is always a good thing so next you guys Asteria sent me these four headbands and I really didn't know which ones to choose so I just closed my eyes tossed them up and yeah very simple very easy way to choose something so just go with this red headband and i just want you guys to see how easy it is to just pop something different on your hair depending on what you're wearing depending on where you're going i'm taking this cantu spray that was so difficult to spray in this bottle y'all i should have transferred it to a different spray bottle but i well i actually couldn't have done that because i don't have one <laughs> but it's pretty good as far as just making the curls come a little bit more to life and getting that shine so i was really loving it right here and then next i just added a tiny bit of this lot of body 
setting lotion on top not too much because I didn't want to weigh these curls down the hair down anything like that and this is how it looks after just a few minutes of spray and a little bit of um, setting lotion and I am wearing their curly unit headband wig it is in 26 inches and it's hundred and eighty percent density Y'all, I will say, and I do want to point out that this hair was absolutely beautiful. Even if you don't decide to get a headband wig, which I think everyone should have this in their stash because look how easy it is. This hair texture from Asteria Hair is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I absolutely loved it. And I also quickly want to point out these edges, you guys. That Lagoon Jam like really holds my edges in place. So yeah, just going to show you how it looks pulled up. This was a lot of hair to pull up for me. I'm not used to doing this. So it took me a little bit, you know, a little, little bit of time to get it all in a ponytail. But I just wanted to quickly show you how it looks in a high ponytail right here. And then how it would look in a bun as well. Just in case you just really don't have time for all the sprays and the mousses and the gels and all that kind of stuff. So that is pretty much it for this video, you guys. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but... This is a this is a really nice wig. I really liked it. These headband wigs are everything right now and I see why cuz they're so convenient. You look put together with literally minimal effort and if you're a lazy girl like me sometimes but you still want to be cute or like I said, working from home and you got to jump on meetings, you know, Zoom meetings and stuff. This is right up your alley. So great job, Asteria Hair. Everything will be down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next one.